What's the chance I lose money through property? Well, that's one of the main questions first time property investors have. I mean, how do I know for sure that my investment property will go up in value? Well, that's what you're gonna learn in today's video. I'm Ed, an economist here at Opus Partners, and this is Property Now. On average, house prices have increased about 6.6% per year. That's the trend. But sometimes house prices are above the trend and have increased faster than that. And sometimes house prices have decreased and end up below that trend as well. So is the property market going to smooth out and be perfect in the future? Are we going to see that same 6.6% go on forever? Well, of course not. So how do we know for sure that we're gonna make money through property? The truth is you don't, but we can also look at data to try and calculate the probability that you lose money. Let's start by looking at the main city centers and try to understand how often house prices go up. If we look at it over a six month basis, what do we see? Well, 77% of the time, house prices in Auckland went up over any six month period. That means 22% of the time, they actually decreased. Across most of the main centres, it's somewhere between 70 and 80% of the time we see house prices increase over any six month period. Now, Dunedin, unfortunately, is the unluckiest city so far. Only 68% of the time did house prices increase over any given six months, 31% of the time they actually decreased. But there are two things you're probably thinking about this analysis. The first one is, well, what happens over several years? I don't just want to own a property over six months. What happens if I hold it for 10, 15, maybe even 20 years? And you might also think, well, that's okay for the whole market, but what about my specific property in my specific area? Well, what I'm going to do now is let's look at the data. I've been working with My Fiduciary, which is an independent investment company to try and develop a model to predict the chance of your house going down in value. And what do we see? Well, in the first year of owning a property, there is actually a 30% chance of your house going down in value. And I'll show you the numbers for Auckland because it's pretty much the same for the rest of the country. That does mean in the first year, there's about a 70% chance that your house has gone up in value, roughly the same as those numbers we looked at before. But what happens by year three? Well, the chance that you've lost money in property, the chance that your house has gone down in value falls to 21%. That means there's a 79% chance that your house has gone up. What do we see over time once we get to year 10? Only an 8% chance of losing money, 92% chance your house has gone up in value. And by the time we get out to 20 years, there is a 98% chance your house has gone up in value, 2% chance that the value of your house has actually gone down. And so what's the key message here? The longer you hold onto your property, the better your chance that your house has gone up in value. And you know, some people think the property market is a sure bet. Well, it's clearly not, because even by our numbers, after 20 years, there's still a 1 in 50 chance that your house value has gone down a bit in value. That's the risk of investing, and it's the same for any investments you make. And if you like learning about property in this really number-focused way, make sure you hit subscribe. We release new videos every Monday and Wednesday. And if you do already subscribe, I know what you're thinking. Ed, how do you calculate these numbers? So we crunch these numbers by looking at how fast house prices have increased in the past. And for Auckland, it looks something like this. Sometimes house prices go up really fast and sometimes they actually go down really fast too. Most of the time, they're somewhere in the middle. Now, what we then do is crank up the uncertainty and say, hey, look, your individual property value will jump around a wee bit more. And then here's the important part. We calculate the probability that you have a whole heap of bad years in a row, that means your house actually goes down in value. Now, does this actually happen in practice or is this all a bit theoretical? I mean, is there a chance that my house value doesn't go up over, say, 10 years? Well, yes, there is. Let's look at Gisborne. Between 2007 and right through to 2017, first we saw house prices decrease and then not really increase much at all above that 2007 level. So yes, that risk does happen in real life where you lose a bit of money or maybe you don't make much money over 10 years. I know Gisborne is a small region, but that's the 8% we're talking about. And I know what you're all gonna say in the comments section because I do read them. Ed, 
You can't predict the future. Economists are useless, and yes, yes, we often are, but the point of all this number crunching isn't to predict the future perfectly. To do that, you've got to go and talk to a psychic or a medium. We do all of this number crunching to try and understand what the future may look like, not what will definitely happen. What's the range of outcomes that might happen? If you want perfect foresight, you do have to talk to a psychic, but doing this number crunching, this is better than just looking at that standard average we started with. It's gonna be better than just basing your investment decisions on anecdotes from your family or friends. And it's definitely going to be better than emotional decision making. This is trying to help you understand what could happen with your investment property. And you know, if you want help to start or grow your portfolio, make sure you check out our website, opuspartners.co.nz. We help regular Kiwis grow their wealth through new build investment properties.